here they are. Good morning, modern steaders. I wasn't ready for this phone call. I was ready, but I wasn't ready. If that makes sense or not. This morning, I was looking at my USPS tracking, and the chick said they were in Pennsylvania at 6 a.m. This afternoon at work, I got a phone call at 1 p.m. Said the chickens are here. How can that be? The chicks were in PA at 6 a.m. And they're in northern New Hampshire at 1.18 p.m. What? They weren't supposed to be here for two more days. So, we luckily we built the chick brooder already. Now I need to assemble it. And I'll show you a few other things I got for it. And we got the baby chicks sitting in the truck until we get our Figaro proof cage built because we don't want this guy eating them. Right, mister? Yeah, you. I'm excited they're here. I just weren't expecting them already. The crazy part is I've been keeping an eye on the tracking to see when they were going to show up and they were still calling for Thursday, which today's your Thursday, but today's my Tuesday. They're here, let's build the chick brooder. I was at Lowe's the other day and I picked up a piece of laminate remnant for cheap, cheap money. So we're going to put the laminate in the chick brooder first, run it up the sides a little bit, and then we'll put our bedding on top of this. Alright, no, I don't think you need to have laminate in here, but if you can find a cheap, inexpensive remnant, it won't hurt. I was going to put cardboard down, but I came across this. The part that was stressing me out the most when I got the phone call is I went to our feed store last week. They didn't have any organic chick starter, and I went to our feed store on Monday. They still didn't have any. They told me Wednesday, maybe Thursday they'd have it in. So I had to go and find some. Luckily, our local tractor supply had shavings and organic chick starter. So we got it, and I'm glad for that. To me, this is a pretty crucial stage. You want to start your chicks off right and make sure they're healthy and they'll live a good, long, healthy life for you. Because don't forget, the food they produce and the eggs, the meat, whatever we're getting from our chicks, it's going to actually become the flesh of our flesh because we're going to be eating it. Like they say, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Whatever happened to that? When I was a kid, that commercial was everywhere and the government sponsored it. You are what you eat from your head down to your feet. And now they're promoting GMOs and pharmaceuticals and uh, we go from one extreme to another. Whatever changed that? The guy had his wagon wheel, he'd be walking around and man, we need them commercials to come back. I think this linoleum is going to make it nice and easy to clean in here. Put our duplex nails in. If 
if you haven't seen how we built this chick brooder, I'm going to put a link to that video right here. We built it for right around 30 bucks, and it didn't take very long either. The biggest inspiration for this chick brooder is Figaro. We want to make sure he can't get in and eat the chicks. So, we have this design here, and I'm outfitting it with our automatic water and feeder. set up our heat lamp. All right, we got that plugged in. We can turn it on, shut it off right here with the switch. Now we need to get the feeder set up. All right, we're gonna grab our turbo feeder. Let's get that set up. Okay, we'll get our turbo feeder installed. The nice thing about the turbo feeder is it holds quite a bit of food. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. I like that. Even though we have a feeder that's gonna hold a bunch of feed, we got a water that's hooked up to a five gallon pail, we still have to check this stuff throughout the day at least twice so that way we know hey, the water didn't mess up or the food's still flowing in the feeder. We don't want to rely completely on all this stuff. Now it's about time to get the chicks. Oh, I almost forgot the apples, the raw apple cider vinegar and the garlic for the water. That helps the chicks out awesome. So let's go get that and then we can get the chicks in here. The water of the feeder and the brooder light are all from Coops and More. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to their website and if you use the promo code LUMNA you get 10% off your entire order and this year they're doing free shipping you can't beat that the reason we're adding raw apple cider vinegar to our water and garlic is they're both a great antiviral and antibacterial and health boost they're good for us, and they're even better. They're just as good for our animals, but they're even better for them because they're smaller. I don't feel like mincing garlic right now, so we always keep in the fridge some organic minced garlic. So I'm going to keep a teaspoon of that in there. Swish it around the water with the cider vinegar. That smells delicious is what it does, but that's going to give the chicks an extra boost. All right, let's get them. Here they are. Pluto's gonna be all excited. Pluto, what do we got, huh? What do we got, what do we got, what do we got, huh? I had to lock Figaro upstairs. What do we got? I know. and. Gina and Olivia won't be home till later, later. Man. Three days shipping. And they came the next day. It didn't take three days or two days. It took one day. That's awesome by the post office. But man, when you're not expecting something. Awesome. We ordered 10 Novagens and 10 Easter egg layers. These Easter egg layers are supposed to lay large Easter eggs and quite a few of them. Let's put them in the brooder and we'll dip each one of their beaks into the water. Now we want to dip each one of their beaks into the water. That way they know where their water is. They've never had a drink yet either. 
They're day old chicks, so as soon as they're born, they're put into the box and shipped out. So we just want to let them know, hey, there's water over here for you. Come take a drink. Also, so the Norwegians, they're a breed from Norway, and the Easter Eggers are kind of their own tweak on the Easter Egg layers. They lay a large egg, both these breeds do, so they have a large brown egg and a large pastel greenish color egg. So that's exciting. We got these chicks from Freedom Hatchery. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to Freedom Hatchery. And then this is also where we're going to be getting our meat birds from. We have some Freedom Ranges ordered, and they'll be getting shipped out in the middle of April. So that's exciting. Now we get to test out the chicks and all of our new equipment. We get to see if this chick brooder is Figaro proof. And we'll see how the brooder light works, the feeder, and the water. I'm excited about all this stuff. The feeder's going to be great. The whole water is going to be amazing. I'm, hopefully, the water is going to be amazing. I'm not supposed to have to clean that very often. So, that is a good thing. They're going to have plenty of water, plenty of feed, and a nice heat lamp, and a Figaro-proof brooder. And Pluto's going to have fun watching them, too. So, I guess now we lock them up, and we'll go get Figaro, see what he does. I don't think Figaro knows what to do. He's almost a little scared. What do you think? It's like, I have no clue, man. where we're going to find Figaro and Pluto from now on. We'll be doing plenty of updates on our chicks. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm excited to try out the new chick brooder and all of our new equipment. I'm going to put links for everything in the description down below. If you're new to the channel, now's a great opportunity to subscribe. Go on down below, turn on notifications and ring the bell. And that way you can keep up to date with us and all the crazy adventures we have going on here. Our new chicks and who knows what else we'll be up to. And don't forget, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. The guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.